Hey, intrepid viewers, and welcome back to Kathy Rain. Goober is his name. Sounds like Bob, doesn't it? I'm trying to get real good at names, and it's not going so well. Hey, doofus. Oh, hi! Live performance. So, how good an actor are you? The best! The very best! You know, that nurse in there, she oh. said she loved you in all those movies. Oh, and that she this always could be easier than I thought. Performance. I know it. She always gave me these strange looks. I thought it was contempt, but her face must just be cramping up from shyness. Of course. Yeah, that's definitely it. She'd love to see you act, I'm sure. I'm gonna have to oblige. Which movie do you think she'd Ooh, like the best? Oh, that's so tough. Uh, Jacob's Bladder for sure. Definitely Jacob's Bladder. I'm feeling the pressure. Yeah. Well, we don't get to talk to him about the red man, so I lied about that. But I am way happy for this alternative. So she's getting distracted. What the oh, frack Dan, am I going to do? Everything is forgiven. You and me were like peas and carrots. I'm just so full of uh, love that I think I'm about to burst. Jenny, where did you go? Oh, I don't feel so good. Thank you, thank you. You bet a great audience. I can do stuff. Pretty sure she. Ah, uh, okay. So I gotta distract her again that and wasn't better. That was really an electrifying performance. I'll have to intervene somehow. Okay, so we need a new performance. Well, let's see if I do have an opportunity to talk about the red man first. Hey, doofus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consult notes. Talk to me about this thing. I don't need to ask. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey. Sure. Let's try natural bald killer. Natural bald killer. Bald move. Bald move. Look at that permanent grin. So goofy. You know, watch this. This walk animation. Watch this. Watching that walk animation. Is as tedious as having to boot the computer over and over again. Let's get involved. You've been such a good friend. I can't thank you enough for making again? me whole. No thanks. Turn this scalp into a breathtaking Should I act with I don't want to Such as the world has never seen. I can't read it. Rows and okay, columns. Okay, Doctor. I'm counting down now. Am I supposed to Ten, do something? Nine, eight, seven, six. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Good idea, but it Oh, wouldn't match his symptoms. Do I have to do a thing to him? Uh, that matches the movie he's acting. I guess I can just try all the movies. <coughs> Excuse me. And um Hey, do try and electrocute him in each of them. Hey. And just see what happens. Uh how about so let's try this one uh, I'm also gonna fast forward because there's a lot of just waiting during this um I don't want to make you wait I will wait alone in silence suffering solo but that's just my burden to bear to make your experience more enjoyable so let's see what happens and we'll see what works cut to whatever works okay never mind don't get anything nurse he's seizing Oh shit! Hey, hey, that sucks. I'm kind of a monster. Man, I feel like a total jackass. It's not quite the adjective I would use. The poor guy later. Or now, I suppose. Make it up to him by untasing him. I don't know. Anyway, let's browse. What name would he be using? Is it? Ah, oh, crap. Admin password crap. I'm gonna do this forever. Just keep tasting him. Employee of the month, Carlita Mendez. Mendez. Ugh, what a joke! Is She's the only employee. Nurse? Carlita Mendez. Anything here? Rose and Carl no, Carlita. Mendez. A calendar from 19 1991. 
Mendez. Ooh, tab actually works. One, nine, nine, one. Okay, let's put the floppy in. See if that's an option. Boot disk. Long boot animation. So fun. So fun. And okay, corrupt hard drive, extract admin password. Success! C. Mendez Otorgador. C. Mendez Otorgador. C. Mendez Otorgador. I should write that down. I'm not going to. C. Mendez Otorgador. Ugh. C. Mendez Otorgador. I can type. Okay. Uh. Cocky. Ugh. Um, Wade. Hey, there we go, Charles Wade. Born in 24. Dr. Friedman. Patient has undergone successful invasive heart. A heart invaded him successfully. Surgery and was transferred to the facility at his own request. The initial prognosis looks good and the patient is likely to make a full recovery in six to eight weeks. Room 6B. Cool, okay. Let's get out of here. Don't know what other names I could search. Redman? Do I still have the floppy? Cool. Six B. Let's just go there. Bum 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 bam. Bum. Walk slowly, Kathy Rain. Wouldn't want to trip and break an ankle. Hooray! Aha. Oh no. I don't know what got erased, but I guess I'm glad that things are getting. It's alright. Understood, sir. You know me. So, you managed to find me. I did. Why are your eyes the same color as your Let's shirt? Let's over with, then. How do you want your pictures? Shall I get some tubes to fill my face with? Will that suffice for your front Ooh, page? you think I'm at the front page? Sure. I'm a journalist. Well, not yet, anyway. Ah, she's but a cub. Cub reporter. So, you're hoping for your big Surely this must be worth an internship at one of the big papers. Do you want me to call Thompson at the Times and get it over with? I still play golf with him every once in a while. Not anymore. It's personal. Here's from a lot. Uh, I'm piggybacking your favors and make my own way. That's not what this is about. It's personal. Tase him. Sounds serious. Perhaps I should ask. Why are you Claude so coquettish? His gun. What? You know, Charles. The person most likely to be harmed by a gun tends to be its owner. Very true. That's something that Japs who oh, captured me learned the hard way. <laughs> what? Did my grandfather bail you out then too? But they or captured you. Was that one of the few times where he didn't save your sorry ass? Hold on there. Explain yourself. You're willing to listen to something other than your own voice? I'm stunned. <sighs> I'm Kathy Rain. Joseph was my grandfather. So if you didn't recognize you, why did you let now me through? I remember. You were at the funeral. Were you? I was. You were late. I needed my morning smoke. Besides, it's not like Grandpa was going anywhere. He will remember that. Oh, just look at her, Claude. She's absolutely fearless. That's Joseph's blood running through her veins. She certainly has a smart mouth. <laughs> I must say, Smithers. you have me intrigued, Kathy. What can this old man help you with? Photo. Do you recognize this, Charles? Of course. Your grandfather, me, Jimmy Cochran. Cochran. Taken shortly before we went to the war. That guy's name is Zephyr Cochran. Cochran. Yes. He used to go by the nickname Cocky. Okay. He was a coward, really. The nickname is somewhat of a bad joke. Ah. I see. Uh, what do you see in this picture, Charles? Fireflies would hmm. be my best guess. They can grow terribly large. They carry spots. away babies. For a second there, this is a portrait of a diglet. 
Do you know what this is? A flower? Why don't you consult a botanist instead of bothering me with this nonsense? Nonsense. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? I wish I did, Kathy. You must know I did everything in my power to help. How do you think Mary Elizabeth could afford all that expensive treatment? MRI. Is Mary Elizabeth the cabin woman? Say what you will about Joseph. But he was never rich. Or is that Strange. my grandma? Grandma never mentioned that to me. She's just too proud. At first she refused. She was convinced that I had an agenda, that there were strings attached. And were there? Don't be silly. Despite all that had happened, I still loved Joseph dearly. I wanted to help. People from places like this have a deeply rooted mistrust in the rich, passed on for generations. In her eyes, I had become one of them. Ooh. So that's all you know about the whole affair? Are you implying that there's more to know? I left the diagnosis to the professionals. Mrs. Rain accepted the health care, but asked me to stay out of everything else. So I did. I see. What can you tell me about your friendship with Grandpa? Joseph was the best friend I ever had. We grew up together. Married our high school sweethearts together. That's a threesome. Went to war together. I can't even begin to count the number of times he's saved my life. I repaid the favor once or twice. But he came up ahead, no doubt. So, when did you two lose touch? I heard that something happened between you and him. What was it? Ah. <sighs> the truth is, Brian Rain happened. Sharon Evans happened. My parents? Yes. They ruined everything with their vile, destructive behavior. I couldn't have that around my daughter or my newborn grandson. Joseph was naive. He believed that anyone could be helped, that anyone could be reasoned with, given a chance. He was just too good, bless him. He should have been harder on Brian, more strict. Hmm. Nothing. So our family started drifting apart. Eventually, my company grew much too large for this little town. Not long after that, your grandfather ended up in that wheelchair. That marked the end of our friendship, for obvious reasons. What? It's not obvious to me. You bought a number of paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art. Why wouldn't he recognize the fireflies? Looks like a Lily art painting. Was enamored with the paintings. I believe she first saw them at the high school which the Myers girl attended. Anyway, after the poor girl killed herself, I bought the painting speculatively. When a young artist with any talent to speak of commits suicide, it can be a wet dream. But you bought all the paintings, so nobody could see the paintings, so she after couldn't get famous. The art, I had it valued by an expert who determined that the value was three times How do the they amount do that? I bought it for. Today, I'm sure I would have made my money back tenfold or more if it wasn't for the art theft. What art theft? There was a burglary at the mansion I used to own here in town. It was all over the local news at the time. Well, shit. Where do I go to get local news? The cop place? I have to read, talk to people about this. Tell me about Jimmy Cochran. Is he still alive? In a literal sense. He's been held in a mental institution for years. I lost all his hair. I, I like to dress in red. Either 82 or 83. I'm fairly certain it was early 83. Do you remember the name of the institution? Something starting with an E. Emerson, Everton, or similar. Edgewood. Ingstrom? Ingstrom Psychiatric Hospital? Yes, that's the one. You know the place, Kathy. <laughs> I do. My mother is in there. Sharon Evans? I had her committed about a year ago. I see. It must have taken a lot of courage to do that, Kathy. Mothers have a lot of power over us. More than most of us care to admit. I guess so. Do you know why Jimmy ended up in there? Some obsessive-compulsive syndrome. 
he became fixated with circles and started hurting himself, trying to scratch mm -hmm. the circles out of his head. I hope Creepy. this turns out to be like a government thing. I wonder what set him off. Thing, not an I actual think I'll check supernatural the place out thing. tomorrow. Too late to head back to the city now. It's always more fun to me. Mm, Can you tell me always, about the art theft? Often. Well, somebody broke in, stole the paintings, and got out. Fairly clumsy job. Lots of broken. <laughs> they came in and left through the a different window every time. Was, was that I had a Monet, a Rembrandt, and two paintings by Picasso, untouched. But every single painting by an unknown local artist, gone. That can't be a coincidence. Agreed. Somebody wanted those paintings badly. I wonder if there was Lily's actually dead. Yes, Sheriff Truman came by with his deputy a few hours later, but they didn't have much luck. We found a few hairs, which turned out to be from Raffles, the Raffles. family dog. Some stunning police work right there. Indeed. There was a single witness, though, who said he could make out multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime, but nothing more than that. So, I take it the case was closed? Yes. I honestly didn't care much one way or the other, given the fact that my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff about the matter, if that's okay with you. The idea of like a bunch of nice Certainly, art living in... I'm this isn't a mansion, never mind. I was gonna say, for people not looking at it, it's kinda sad. That'd be great. Thanks, Charles. Anytime. But I'm curious. What's your interest in the paintings? I've learned that my grandfather went to Sue and asked to see them, right before he had his injury. Is that so? Strange. What can you tell me about no, the church didn't of think the Holy Trinity? Talk about this. They seem <clears throat> like any other church to me, but then again, I'm not their usual clientele. Weddings, baptisms, and funerals are just about what I can muster, and I always leave early. I have never been to. I don't Another need to ask him about baptism. that. Okay, cool beans. I think we're done here. I don't need to. Yeah. Do you know what this key opens? You must be truly desperate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Charles. You're welcome, Kathy. Come back anytime. Come back anytime now, you hear? Looks like Wade brought some of his old, old tunes. Old tunes, phone. a phone here. Just some old tunes. A private phone. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna skip things as I'm being quick. What's Claude Gus say? I'd rather not. Yeah. He crushed me like a twig. Just by talking to him. Fancy. Okay, well that ends this episode. Next episode, um, if I remember, we're gonna go to the cops and talk about the burglary. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Signature catchphrase. <laughs>